Cambodia is regarded as one of the most deadliest countries for environmental reporting. So we're basically trying to improve access to information in Cambodia and in the Mekong region to make sure that people, the citizen, journalists, researchers, uh, civil society organization and even the government have access to important and relevant data and information for them to make decision about their work. The media in Cambodia is quite heavily controlled by uh, the government. Um, so they have radio, um, uh, newspaper and television. A small numbers of media projects are run by NGO, so independent media, and some English language media that are considered to be a bit more neutral than uh, the government's media. And also in our, our own history, there's a history of government using information as propaganda for their own political gains. So people are quite, uh, when people consume media, they're quite cautious of what, who's saying what and who's trying to make them believe in what information. So because of this cautiousness, it can be, it can be quite difficult for people who are trying to push relevant and good and facts outside to the public because they also will question this. So oftentimes people ask us, how do you ensure that your information is objective? And we do this by consulting with a lot of different experts. They can be academia, they can be technical working groups. Um, oftentimes we consult with lawyers to make sure what we're saying is okay, that we are not in trouble. We as information provider, we have to remove advocacy, remove political agenda from the information and the data we are providing to the public so that they will use it. The truth should not be a privilege and it should not be it should not have fear connected to it.